so we gotta go pull up on the scene out here just got a phone call from uh shit a couple of clients say they got a got a police problem going on right now out at uh their trap shop so we're gonna see what we uh what we can find out when we get when we pull up down there i ain't got i ain't got very much info but we're gonna see come on though Oh, I'm like, I, no, I said I was going to change the uh, the radius on, on that gate because, man, I be pulling up to that mug and that motherfucker do not be opening as you saw. We're going to pull up out there, see what they got going on. I don't know. They said the police out there got them, got them hemmed up or something, you know. I'm lagging a little bit, I see. So I'm on the way down there. Ain't no telling what's going on. I mean, ain't too much I can really do, you know, except for just be present for the questioning. I mean, they done committed some kind of crime. It ain't like I can necessarily stop them, but, you know, I can at least be there to make sure everything going the right way that it needs to be, you know, and maybe get them, get a police a little advice on how to save themselves a potential lawsuit. They, you know, it sounds like they could be violating my client's rights, but we're going to see. That's the luxury that some of these guys have, you know, being able to retain services like this, you know, with the kind of income they have. So we're going to go down here and see what we can figure out. But I'm lagging and I don't like that. I don't know why. I think this street, once I get down to the, the connector, if I can stop lagging, uh, will put me down somewhere near the near the shop. If not, the right down here at the bottom of the hill, probably. No, it ain't here. All right, so. Uh, here, police sirens. Oh, here they go down here. Here they go. Let's see what we got. Hey. Going on, gentlemen. Where you can get that from? Hey, it ain't even for me, gang. I just happen to be the only one that had your number, but they got G on okay. the bullshit over there. He in the truck. Yeah, uh, he locked up. He in the truck right there. In, the, in this truck okay. right Okay. All right. We What's going What's on, up, boss? How you doing? Man, I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing swell. These these police man falsely entrap me right here. They didn't tell oh, me yeah, I'm detained until the, the big right, man yeah. over there come up here. He'd be like, they had me blocked in for about fifteen minutes before this man here could tell me I'm detained. Detained for what? What are they saying happened? What are they're, they alleging? They're saying they're saying that I punched uh an off duty cop, knocked his ass out. And where's this off duty cop? Uh, over. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where he is. But oh, that's okay. their alleged. Okay. All right. I'll talk to him and uh, see what information I can get for you and uh, see where we stand with all of this. Okay. I appreciate all it. All right. All right. No problem. Okay. Good day, officers. Yeah. Yo, is that your white uh, Rolls Royce? Yes, sir, it is. Yeah, I think we're all good. How much did you pay for that, man? Uh, it was a donation from Rolls Royce. Uh, the owner's wife uh, oh, frequents my casino. <laughs> God dang. Uh, the, uh, if I haven't met you yet, I'm Attorney King. Uh, I received a phone call to come out here from uh, one of my clients. Uh, that there was some sort of questioning that he wanted me present for. Uh, just trying to figure out what's going on out here. Uh, uh, is your client the one that was in the black truck? I'm guessing. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see. 
need me. Okay. All right, good day, officers. Uh, as I tried to speak to you guys over there, uh, I'm the attorney for uh, my client here. Ah, okay. Yeah, I was trying to speak to you guys over there to introduce myself if I haven't met you yet. Uh, I am the attorney for uh, this individual here that you're speaking with. So yep. what I'm trying to ascertain as to what's going on so I can better explain to my client what the situation is and okay. what you guys have. I'm currently concluding this right here. Um, he's, I, I'm letting him know right now. Uh, I can't see you. That's why I didn't know that you were trying to talk or who was talking. Um, okay. He's he's good to go. Um, he is no longer you know needed. It was a call originally uh, was relating to an assault that happened here. Um, we responded. Okay. Um, and then that's when we got you know to my knowledge I was just requested. A, I, I'm pretty much just a secondary. I'm not the primary. Um, I'm here just pretty much, I came here to calm the situation down because they were saying that it was escalating the situation. So, um, I got your, uh, client's, um, driver's license or ID, um, driver's okay. license to just go ahead and put it on the report. Everything's going to be on the report. Um, he's not facing any charges. A person's, uh, choosing not to press charges. So it, it's just pretty much, you know, there's a report going to be written up. He's going to be in that report. The other person's going to be on the other, on, the, okay. on that report and that's it. And you provided my client with uh, the uh, case number, incident number for this report, uh, if he needs to obtain not, that later? Not yet. I will go ahead and let the primary... Oh, and that's the, uh, I'll let the primary officer know right now to go ahead and let him know. Or let you know, whoever. Um, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll need that information uh, but before you guys leave uh, as to how yeah. he can uh, recall this information if he needs to or not. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, like uh, I said, so he's not, as far he's as I understand that, okay, okay, he's not okay, being understandable. Yeah, no, he's not. He, he was detained for, uh, for a bit because obviously we're trying to inv we were trying to get everything under control because he, you know, we had one individual okay. saying this guy assaulted me, and then you know from there. So obviously he got his. So you detained him for safety. No, we detained him for the investigation as he was the alleged uh, person that was being or the alleged uh, suspect. Okay, yes, I understand. It was, being, it was being said by the by the initial person, the now one caller, that he was the one that assaulted him. So, um, okay. Obviously, now is it my understanding him? that okay. the the original caller, the complainant, is uh, misidentified my client? Uh, is that what you guys discovered, or is this? <laughs> No, he just I heard you say that not, they didn't want so, to prosecute. So did he misidentify he says, him he, and make a mistake? He just said he doesn't want to charge him. He just doesn't want to charge him. He just said he's an off-duty uh, officer. Um, he does not want to press charges. I guess it was a whole Let me see. shit show, but um, he doesn't want to press charges. Excuse me, excuse um, me. I'm sorry, sorry. He doesn't want to press charges. I'm not sure what his reasoning behind why he doesn't want to press charges, but if he doesn't want to press charges, there's really, I mean, I, I am not going to go ahead and tell him to press charges or, you know what I mean? It's something that, you know, okay. it, it's up to him at the end of the day. Um, okay. And uh, that's why the report is just going to be made um, as an instant report. And uh, like I said, your client and the no other person is going to be that. put Yo, on that report. Hey, come, come around with me. Now, uh, did this complainant advise what the nature of the situation was as to how there was some sort of altercation? Uh, did you all, I guess, conduct some sort of investigation as to why you believed uh, solely one side? Or how, how is this playing out here? Because to me, it sounds like. Uh, you guys are taking the side of a uh, fellow officer that's off duty to single out my client, uh, which it says you guys are not arresting him or charging him or with anything. But what kind of altercation took place as to why you believe that my client is the aggressor as opposed to your fellow Good officer day, that's off duty? No, that's understandable. So I, I am not um, sure uh, what exactly the initial uh, people did. I rolled up like whenever, um, what it currently, what, when I rolled up, what was happening uh, was everybody was just pretty much I, getting uh, in each other's faces. People were just, you know, not letting my off, or not, I shouldn't say my officers, not letting the troopers, um, I, I, it seems to, you know, do their jobs. Uh, everybody was in each other's faces. Everybody was blocking. Everybody was talking over people. So it was just pretty much that havoc uh, of just, it was chaos pretty much. Um, I know that I just okay. I uh, I yeah. spoke to the right the now. person that reported it. Um, I know that I saw the troopers over here speaking to your client. I'm not sure what exactly was going on. Your client did not want to give any information. That's what I was told. That he did not want to speak to the officers. He did not want to say anything. So, 
Um, okay. Obviously, you know, we so can't, it, it's know, normal to them. have uh, state troopers respond to uh, calls for service, or are they normally work in the highways? I noticed there's a large number of uh, troopers here. Yeah, they they usually respond to anything relating in, in within the state. If it if okay, it just wanted to understand for 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 my purposes to better you know advise my client on what's going on here. There's so many troopers, and uh, I believe you work for the police department, so I just wanted to make sure I understood what was going on. Yeah, no, like I said, yeah, they're they're state troopers, so they're they're able to they have jurisdiction over the whole state, and they can just they respond to pretty much everything. I'm not sure their policy on what they're allowed and what they're not allowed to respond, as I'm not a trooper. Um, but, okay, I you know, understand. I could just say, you know, I, I yeah, that's just pretty much I can say is just, you know, I, I'm not sure their policy or what, what they have on that side of things. I just know that they pretty much respond to anything relating to a 911 calls. It could be 911 calls, speeders, you know, things like that, reckless driving uh, calls, simple, uh, simple interactions, I guess you could say. Um, okay. But like I said, yeah. Now, the, is the investigating or primary uh, officer here for you to at least clarify uh, what the original context was so that, again, I can better explain to my client why uh, he did go through this experience? I know I've uh, listened to you so far, which you've been able to detail, but it doesn't sound like you were the primary investigating officer. And what my question is, is uh, what type of investigation was conducted to determine that my client was the alleged aggressor? instead of your fellow officer that you're saying is off duty. Yeah. Um you could say to this primary. uh over here. I was the primary what the fuck? Bro, get a, man, okay. get away from me. Uh, is there anything that is there anything that uh was advised to you as to uh, why you believed uh, my my client was the aggressor? Back up, please. So, my belief only be, only comes of hearsay. Um I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anyone told me anyone was struck other than the person that was struck. We actually got a call about an officer down because he does have his tracker and everything on still. So I don't know how okay. that call, Okay. So I don't know who initiated him being down. But now call, was so the officer in. detained as well or the officer was not. I was detained. Okay. I was over there. I was told to stay in the corner over there. I, I detained him, yeah. I detained him. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Fair yeah, enough. Not by me. Not by me. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, that's what I wanted to at least get to the bottom of in case, you know, of course that question comes to me and I can better do my job ex explaining what's going on here for my client. Okay, yeah. so uh, from what it sounds like, uh, you're able to provide uh, my client with the incident or case number uh, before you all leave? Uh, yes, we can do that. Okay. And uh, you won't be needing anything further from my client, correct? No, sir. He's, okay. Uh, he's All not right. Well, charges. he's not pressing charges at this point, uh, so he's everyone's going to be free to go, and we're going to move on, hopefully peacefully. Okay. And uh, when you say uh, he's not pressing charges, you're only referring to the off-duty officer and not my client, because it doesn't sound like you uh, investigated this from a standpoint that my client could have been a victim. Uh, I investigated this as I got a call from a person who was down. He told me who knocked him down, that being your client, and he's okay. not pressing charges, so there's nothing further against your client. I cannot okay. speak Sounds for good. your client on what he wants to do going forward. Okay, understandable. Just wanted to get all that cleared up, and it uh, sounds like uh, you guys have answered all my questions. I appreciate that, uh, you know, answering the questions on scene here. Uh, so if there's nothing further, I'll step out of you guys' way to let you continue what you're doing uh, and answer any questions my client has. All right, sounds good, thank you. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, so uh, most of that I assume you were listening to? Yeah, I was listening. Okay, so at least the best thing here is that, uh, you know, they're not pushing this any further and then uh, anything uh, that needs to be done later uh, we can review that uh, review what's written up and all that um, unless you feel that you were wronged or anything like that uh, if we can confirm all of that we can go down that route but at least for right now it seems like everything's gonna be cool all right well i appreciate that and uh thank you for the quick response because otherwise uh it probably would have went bad <laughs> hey, I understand. I understand. I understand. So uh, at least it didn't have to go down that way. Hey, I, I know. I know. And I was just pulling up to the crib. I just flew back in from the airport, man. And, and you know, I got mm -hmm. that call, and you know, got to come down here for the for the the executive clients. 
Oh, that's what I pay you for. Um, indeed, indeed. So, speaking of clients, Mr. Black has been uh, really, really trying to uh, get in contact with you. Um, he invited us to come okay. to his house at 475. I'm about to okay. just take my vehicle and everything over there right now. Okay. Uh, I believe uh, Trap has a spot that I can uh, park my vehicle at here, and then I'll just hop in and ride with one of you guys, and uh, I'll probably change clothes because uh, I still got this business suit on, so i you know, throw my street clothes on and go ride out with y'all. All right, no problem. Um, I'm, I'll wait then, and then I'll I'll move over there. He said he had a house that's 475. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Here's so that uh that incident number is going to be 085. It's not written yet. I just generated it. So right, let me I'll, go. Uh, I'll put my go change. Oh, you said 085. Let's see. Where do you boys at? Put this up back here. Get rid of this real quick. Get our clothes changed from the clothes in the trunk. boss man had to go get changed up real quick park the car had to change the clothes in the trunk as usual i got you damn you really got get a five hey man you know how we doing it man so we gotta switch different. it up man we out the clock oh, now man what the hell going on with it man so turn up right here twin yeah yeah that's, that's crazy. <laughs> off the clock <laughs> Look at this new thing. I don't know if you got one yet, but this this new Lambo I just bought from Trap right here. No, no, I ain't I ain't got the no, oh. Yeah. Okay. I just came up oh, here. Pick okay. it up. Hey. I ain't. Can I? I ain't. Can I hit it? Truck trailer. I ain't. Yeah, I got you, gang. I love how it yeah. tastes. Man, what's up, No Face man? No Face, no case. What's going on with it, man? I wish our little, uh, you know, thing went down the right way, but glad you good holding up. Talking to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad our little thing, you know, you know, for the cash. It, you know, I wish it would have went down a little better, but, you know. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, well, uh, yeah, you right. Oh, you're yeah, right. yeah. All right. My uh, bad, my bad. They have so much on my mind. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready to start moving there? I got to get right. contact too. Hey, could I All right, yeah, we need that. Hold on. He told me the uh, case number is 085. All right, 085. All right, I got you Say One second, let me send you this one. They kept asking me questions. I was like, I ain't talking to none of y'all. <laughs> I ain't got no questions. <laughs> right, don't answer questions. <laughs> Right, let's hey, hop on hey, in I the truck. Look at me. And that's that. That's your problem. You said you wanted something. <laughs> look at him. Yeah, they're tripping and everything. Yeah, that's what it sound like. But man, at least you got that cleared up. When I pulled up, I was like, man, what's going on out here? <laughs> man, I ain't in the ambulance and everything. They they had to I get the ambulance. Hold on.
What is this guy doing? <laughs> Bro, trippy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 Hey man, I think that man's high, bro. Did you guys call for a supervisor? <laughs> a little or no? bit. No, sir. You are hella late, gang. I gotta go before the hey, I'm high as hell, bro. You see me up in the air? Man <laughs> said I'm <laughs> high as hell to the police, <laughs> bro. I hope he don't get in no car and drive. <laughs> uh, where's the nearest gas station? Oh, good question. Jeez. From here, I gotta get gas. Uh, uh. Right here. Shit, I like this truck too, man. Lights on the front. Hey. So I've been meaning to pull up. And, yeah, the uh, the headlights on the front. Oh, and my eyes, yeah. uh, I, different I color. I modify it yet. The normal. It. That's that's. The oh style. wow. Okay, okay. Oh, this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see where you must have got this from. I see the tires. Yeah, I just, I just bought it. I just bought the truck, and uh, I came straight down here to come and get the, uh, to come and get the Lambo. I hope we make it to the gas station because <laughs> there's a big truck to push. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the Lambo in the back. All right, I'm gonna have. To yeah. Hopefully the police see me. Uh, hopefully well, not. I think it's already farting. Yeah, it's already oh, farting. Give up. Oh, we might be. We might make it. We might. I think it's a gas station close by here. It's like 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 six blocks. Oh yeah, down. I see it. Yeah, on the right. I think uh, that's what you hit a GPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah shoot, I might have to call somebody. To come get me a gas tank. It's like almost it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was not paying attention to the gas. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we finna run out of gas. Rich as hell with no gas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey bro, you ain't got no gas money. <laughs> good thing is the gas station within walking distance. Exactly. <laughs> oh, look at it. <laughs> All right, we gotta pull this hill now. <laughs> <laughs> Break down with a Lambo. <laughs> he got no gas, but he got a Lambo. <laughs> ah, boy. Oh, we ghetto as hell right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> it's not even getting up the hill. <laughs> this hill done. gonna make you run out because <laughs> you can't move. I think so. It's trying to pull another view. It's trying. It's trying. It's struggling. Come on. We might make it. We might. <laughs> oh, look at it. I bet your transmission hating you right now. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I thought we had something going there. I thought so, too. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Let us get some Lambo magic back there. I think it's close enough. It's getting there. Well, at least we ain't really have to walk. Well, all right, it's close enough. I'm just blocking the whole right. intersection. I wait here. Wait, damn! We done ran out of gas, bro. Nice dually truck sitting on some twenty eights, thirties. With a whole Lambo truck on the back and ran out of gas. <laughs> At least we did it right in front of the gas station. <laughs> Alrighty. All righty. Got some fuel. We got within walking this. <laughs> good. I know, man. At least we At least we right in front of the gas station. That's better. Because having to walk a couple blocks, <laughs> that, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, is that AI that is tearing you up in your in your eyes? Yeah, they all over my thing. Right, I'm gonna have to leave the Lambo on the street. All right. Trying to get that in there probably won't be a good thing. Yeah, not pulling in here. Yeah, here's way too small.
you might oh oh never mind i got it oh okay i was about to say i need to hop out let me call uh black at black back let me see where is the, where is the phone <laughs> black back Yo, what's up? Uh, we on our way. We just had, uh, we just broke down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm towing the Lambo, so, you know, you know how that goes. <laughs> Ran out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we gonna be there shortly. All right. 475, right? All right, man, he's gone. That was the funniest stream of events I've ever had in my life. Yeah, that don't happen every day. Yeah. Ran out of gas while towing the Lambo. Nice. Hey, what's going Ooh. on right there? I don't think I've seen that before. I ain't never seen that before either. I was about to make a comment. <laughs> I was like, I ain't <laughs> never seen that. Yeah. <laughs> But I know you better not uh, better not ever hit one of them yellow poles because them things do not move. Man, I ain't know what they made out of. They made out of adamantium or some kind of material. Something. Like, God damn. Them Thanos poles. <laughs> Man, you driving this like you got experience driving an 18 wheeler or something. I do. I used to do that, uh, you know, when I was younger. Yeah, before you start making videos. all that money. Yeah, I mean, that's how the money started. Hey, I feel all right. Everybody Let's see which house start it is. Is it this one up here in the left? Ah, shit. It's got to be his. It's got to be. It looks too nice. It looks way yeah, too nice. Yeah, nicest crib over here. Yeah, got to be his. How, my, how did I know? Well, at least he got space for you to park your uh your trailer. Yeah, I'll put it on the dirt over here. All right, so we're pulling up at the homie uh All right, Black's I think we crib. Are good to go. All right. I got a nice rise over there. Look at that. Those are hard. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, that, uh, that's your shop work right there? Yeah, the 100%. Oh, I should have known. A uh, nice crib. Right, okay. Goodness. This is a nice house. Yeah. yeah, I like this. What's going on? That. How y'all doing? How you doing? Doing. Can't call it twin. Are, Can't call it. You guys are out of trouble. Oh, it was just me. He, oh, he just yeah, I don't get in no the trouble. Usual. It's me. The usual. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Mister? Hey, hey I, man, I, I'm I cool. It. I allegedly knocked it off to the cop out. So. Yeah. So what that's what they claim. I ain't gonna lie, he called me short, so I knocked his ass out. Had <laughs> 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 that man sleep. All right, so uh, if you, crazy. If you guys would do me the honors and follow me into the, the office real quick. All right, I'm liking the crib, man. You're not too far from me. Yeah, yeah. Figured that. A little uh, twist and turns. Man. The other one was kind of—it's a nice one, but it's like it's just—it's too big for only two people. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Mine is mine is big for only one, so I mean, yeah, <laughs> you good. Yeah. All righty, Mr. Gentleman, uh, Mr. Nay. Uh, the reason why I called you here is uh, because I would have—I would like to officially make uh, you my. Uh, my uh, my attorney, my lawyer, my part legal, whatever whatever attorney you prefer. Okay. Um, I would also want you to be. I can't say that. Um, in cases that you know that are like more serious, 
uh, representing Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Layla over here. Um, I was just trying to go go uh, on top of the uh, you know the uh, the usual stuff that you know you usually do to like you know sign a contract and stuff like that. You know, get your contact, get your okay. number. Um, yeah. But yeah, so a retainer. That's basically, the reason why I've been trying to get a hold of you for so long is you know, I know how good of a lawyer you are. Because uh, I don't. I don't Thank know you, sir. We try. Guy goes here. Guy got in trouble, but you know, magically happened to just walk out of, out of everything because of. Hey, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. Well, I mean, from what I'm here so far, you'd be winning more than you'd be losing. So, and I want the best yeah. to be representing. Me understandable and my girl obviously so okay okay so uh you own the uh dealership is i believe that's what i heard in the streets yeah 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 okay um, and uh you, you're gonna want the yeah. okay so you you want to retain uh services from my firm uh for uh to represent your business as your uh legal counsel for the business uh well yeah absolutely uh, for the business as well as uh, for for me as a, personal okay as a okay in case you have any issues come up yeah. I got you I got you and then you mentioned uh, your girl as well yeah absolutely okay uh, we can definitely get a contract drawn up um, between the the business uh, we can get a rate going for that uh, and have you pay the initial retainer and uh, we'll just sit on the retainer until you have an actual uh, you know civil litigation or anything like that come up with your business and you pay the second half of the retainer but the initial portion uh, we can get that taken care of and that'll get me to uh, represent you on everything that you need any contracts you need drawn up i knock that out for you basically represent you as though i'm actually employed by your company as uh, general counsel for your for your dealership uh from there you know all your small things or any legal advice you need or to sit in on any business talks that you need uh, legal advice for all of that is done with the initial retainer and you don't have to pay anything until you have an actual legal issue for that the second half of it that would be for the business side of things all right uh as far as uh retaining services as a uh, criminal attorney for your defense attorney um now what kind of you know as, as your potential uh legal representative uh, you are entitled to attorney client privilege so i kind of need an idea of uh what kind of things are you expecting in the future if you have any problems because uh, i have everything from you know petty things all the way up to some rather serious things so where Every, do you fall on that scale okay everything on the scale okay everything i'm covering my uh, i'm covering our bases in case something something needs to happen okay Okay, now what I do recommend that you do um, and whatever it is that you do for uh, your other business to make sure that you do your best to not make it easy for the government to uh, pick up anything on you, um, especially when it comes to more serious things, because the more stuff they have, the more difficult that makes my job. And then it turns into instead of us being able to get some of the situations like Ghost has had. Out of where he pretty much walked scot free, uh, and in those cases, it's there were things and errors that the, the government did that I was able to somewhat exploit in his favor, uh, so that he can come out. But if certain things don't align, or you give them the wrong type of evidence, what we're looking at at that point is how much time can we get reduced for you? Because it's almost nothing that I can do to solid evidence, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, we can get the uh, personal retainers. Uh, we can get those drawn up as well and uh, have those uh, done separately. Uh, it's like uh, it will be a contract between you and I, a contract between uh, the or the firm, uh, you and the firm, and uh, your girl in the firm, and then your business in the firm. Okay. So three total contract. Perfect. Um obviously if you don't mind me i will be uh, i will be taking your uh, your phone number okay let's see is there anything all right mr black got you 
I just sent mine over. Uh, this is the uh, my business phone, so uh, you can contact me here on on that for uh, your legal issues. Uh, I also own the casino uh, as well, so if you ever have if you ever have any uh, parties or anything that you need or want to rent it out, just let me know. My phone ain't disappearing. Okay, perfect. And um, you know, when would you uh, when would you say um, it will be able? I will be able to meet again to you know, kind of sign up the contracts and uh, and stuff. Uh, I can shoot the contracts over to you by email um, so that you have all three, um, mm -hmm. and then you can pass uh, pass the contract over to your girl, um, and that way you know she'll have that. That'll be the contract uh, between the firm and her uh, for services. If she does, you know, run into any issues, uh, like I said, try your best not to create those issues. And if you do, you yeah, know, I'm make not, sure I'm it's something like that. I'd be, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a rather quiet, uh, <laughs> I'm a rather quiet client, but it's in case something is to happen. You know? <laughs> He's the, okay. uh, both, these both actually here are the, are the trouble magnets, not me. You know, I'm more, uh, I'm more quiet, you know. So, <laughs> understandable. It's just understandable. to cover bases in case something needs to happen. That you know, it's like, oh, well, I don't want to be represented by the public, uh, you know, defender. Yeah, public defender. Like now, what? Uh, life on the edge. Now, you pretty much have an option of either retaining on a case by case basis. Uh, that's a fee structure, or uh, basically a one time retainer fee, uh, and then we just represent you on everything moving forward. We'll uh, we'll take the one time the one time thing so that every case is basically it's in case something is to happen is uh, you know you're the one who's called in case I need a I need a lawyer basically. Okay, all right, that sounds good. All right, so I'll I'll put that into uh, the three contracts and get them over to you within the next day day and a half or so, and uh, you know we'll go from there. All right. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You don't know how how long I've been trying to get a hold of you, Mister. Uh, man, Mr. I you know I be out here, man. I just try to keep up with it all, man. I've been real busy lately. Yeah, I see that. I see that. A lot I mean, of cases. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. The case has been rolling in, man. You know, and yeah, just try to I, try I to heard. stay on top hey, of business. This is a, hey, hey, hey! Don't say nothing. This is the first one for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah yeah that's true that's true that's true and i and i didn't even really do anything today except for show up so you know well, I, mean, I think that you, did help a little bit but i think yeah that's what i was about to say i feel like just the fact that the, you know the person has a lawyer with them just makes the cop kind of you know be on their on their toes and stuff you know and oh yeah for sure for sure because yeah, that one sounded really like uh be, he can walk all over me on it my sounded like that's what was going on, on before i got there so yeah we hopefully we we can uh, avoid that kind of stuff in the future or you know in the event that they do do anything wrong uh just make sure you know you have gopros laying around if possible and then uh let them do whatever they're gonna do you know and yeah. matter of fact it's it's even better if they send you on you know send you on for a little bit of time when they're wrong because that's just more money for us for my, absolutely. Well, well we're gonna try it your way first but <laughs> if that doesn't work yeah if that don't work you know then yeah i i, I already know how that go work. i already know how that go okay well um appreciate uh, doing business with you uh, as always no problem no problem um, you know if you need anything from us obviously you know you got our numbers you, you know don't hesitate i need a few foot soldiers that's all i need you need what Need a, foot, a few foot soldiers, you know, something that doesn't tie back to any of us, yeah. or some people that don't really tie back to any of us. He's aware of your uh, your business and such, correct? He's Ghost? aware of all of my businesses. Okay. All right. So, Mister <laughs> Black, he, uh, what I we build it. Okay. <laughs> well, I've been okay. saying that people don't know, but it's like I'm here, but people don't know, you know. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So, Mr. That. Black, what I've been looking into is trying to acquire that myself. Uh, try to get a little pipeline going if we can start acquiring some, uh, I guess, lower level individuals that we can employ to do different things uh, that the businesses that we have uh, collectively 
can benefit from without you know the risk so to speak throw them the yeah. cash and they they go knock out what we need to get knocked out yeah um okay yeah i do like i, I do like the idea i actually do like the idea we have see to see if any of my my current soldiers are around for i'll, I'll yeah. be back all right you know we'd have to right. sit around and kind of like find a, an action plan about that and uh um, you know yeah probably normally i'm um, our bases and stuff yeah i'm pretty far removed from the vast majority of that stuff so when i deal with people at ghost level um uh, there's only a, uh, about maybe six people total that actually know what I do. Um, so with you being the newest, um, what I try to do is run everything through my associates that I have that run all my operations for me. But I have been trying to look into that for everybody is to, you know, get us a little group, which I, I have a small, a small group, but, uh, you know, I need to vet them a little bit better because their ringleader is a little problematic at times <laughs> so yeah i have um, i have a lot of new hardware so um, i need to get you know we need to get distro set up and um okay get a lot of this stuff moved out i can't be having okay. any, any of my stuff because i'd be getting myself in trouble <laughs> yeah yeah i get that i get that uh my guy rico is uh he was mentioning to me earlier uh that he was trying to get linked up with you so i told him uh i sent him your way and uh make sure he speaks correctly about uh the equipment that you you can provide him for uh his side businesses that he has he wants to be able to purchase from you so i told him i'd speak with you when i could well i'm trying to find somebody that Instead of them coming to speak to me, I don't really want nobody speaking to me. Um, I got you. Um, That's I'll even get better. Somebody else, else to them. I'll pass it to that person, and then that person will do all the, all the stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you just shoot me their name, and then uh, you can text it to me. Uh, matter of fact, I got to get another phone. So once I get another phone, uh, I'll be able to shoot you that number so we can, you know, communicate all this kind of stuff and keep it off the nay phone. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Black, if you didn't know uh, that particular number, that's for uh, all the legal businesses and all that kind of stuff. That's attorney name, you know, casino, all that kind of stuff. But this side yeah, of things yeah, is going to yeah. be a whole nother number. And yeah, yeah, nobody yeah. outside of this room and that other group of people know what Nay really does. So, yeah. As far as everybody knows, you're a lawyer. As far as I know, I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer too, you know. I was like, shit. Yeah. You're a lawyer and right. a business owner. That's it. Yeah. As far as that, I know, that, that's what we like it. Everybody know the name goes, but everybody should know. Uh, Adolphus is a mechanic, a shop owner. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. And that's how we like to keep it. That keep the money flowing. So. But yeah, Black, I, I don't know what all you like uh, that you get into, but, you know, you, you got Ghost as a supplier. You already know how his business is run. And then anything else wow. that uh, that he doesn't have, you know, you can get with one of us and uh, we can get that facilitated for you and uh, get that get that set up. Because, you know, whatever your money can afford, you know, is what we give you. Yeah, oh, trust me. Well, I mean, we're always making sure that the money floats in around because uh, when people buy cars from, you know, dealership, and tell them to go to East Customs, basically, and not there nowhere you go. else. So there you go. You know that's how we keep the money floating in and, and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. And um, okay, I don't mind being the uh, the one of us that you know has the most takes on the most risk in terms of uh, you know taking uh, problems out of our 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 line yeah line. yeah son you know you can take you take uh take them out the hood but you can't take the hood out of <laughs> yeah unfortunately so i don't mind like being His that mechanic shop is still in the hood too so it's like yeah, 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 yeah i know he's still plugged in man he's i still, get it still man. Over there somewhere. I, get it. <laughs> I get it that that yeah, does just, help us out we just can't time me to nothing right. yeah yeah and as best you can you know stay free for us you know because you helping keeping everything together to make sure all this money stay flowing so mm -hmm. absolutely yeah all right well uh y'all had it y'all heard anything on uh 
uh, anybody running around with uh, stuff that can go boom yet? I need to send some big money that way to start stocking up on uh, on that. Uh, in case uh, we get anybody that step out of line, we can go on. Uh, you know, fireworks? Start, yeah, no, I, start, I, yeah. I haven't, I haven't heard that. about someone selling fireworks yet, so I don't, I don't know. No. Uh, I just, cause... I just, um, uh, I was uh, in contact with a guy. You know, my guy that imports all of the uh, the hardware I currently have. Um, yeah he was trying to get me connected with this saudi and uh okay okay we'll see if i can i can pull off something there okay for sure because we we definitely i need to have some of that stuff stocked up for when uh people need spankings uh we can you know take them to the fireworks show all right but yeah no um yeah uh, I cannot wait for for the firework merchant to arrive in the uh, in city. Yeah, that's what I've been waiting on. I, I stashed a stashed a lot of way to go ahead and acquire a few of those things because uh, I got a little problem that is not major, but we've uh, been trying to find the owner of Los Santos Customs. Man, he owed me seventy five thousand, and uh, you know it's more the principal of things, and uh, he's been well past due. So I'm probably mm -hmm. gonna start. I'm going to spend way more than 75k to disrupt all his businesses and if that don't get the picture then we're going to step it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um I'll try to uh, I'll try to run it with my girl cuz I know that she she may be quiet but she also happens to know people in the city so so all right, all I'll, right. I'll see what I can um what we can well, come up with if we can have like a name or anything like that so that if you can yeah. people to buy these this hardware from me so yeah we can put the word out so all right, she's all being right. all here quiet and stuff and shy but yeah she 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 be making moves as well so right. you know shit that'll work that'll work that i had to come out the suit earlier man pulling up on ghost out there had to be on the clock you know <laughs> Talk like I'm sitting in the office with the suit on, and as soon as the police went left, man, yeah, they switched that up, dog. We out the clock, man. Hood lawyer on deck. I ain't gonna man. lie, they they were getting me mad, bro. One one, one police was telling me one thing, the other one's telling me the other. One is telling me, oh, we not we not detaining you. I'm like, well, I'm free to leave then. Yeah, if I'm not detained, let me go then. <laughs> like, what? Oh yeah, yeah. And he yeah, was like, yeah. he was like, no, you can't leave. I'm like, huh? And then the chief pulls up That's and like, crazy. Nah, you've been detained, gang. I was like, that is crazy. Like, y'all need to make up your damn mind. Like, whoever is doing yeah. this stuff, like, let him run the show. If he says that I'm free to go, then let me freaking go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm glad I didn't hear that while I, you know, while all that was going on. Because I tell you to go ahead and go on and let him do it. Go on mess yeah. it up. Oh, we like man. money. That's free money. I started telling him, wow, y'all ain't trapping me right now. Just yeah, yeah. Hey, free money. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Um. If you guys don't have anything else, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's everything on my hand. The is there anything you had in mind, uh, Layla? Mm -mm. All right. Um. Yeah, that will be everything for me. I don't know if you guys have anything else to to bring on the table. I'm I'm straight twin. Alright, what about you? Uh, Alright. I just need I just need foot soldiers and uh people to buy this stuff from me. Yeah. Uh I'll be uh I'll be on the lookout um to see if uh, we can find some uh, some people and stuff. Um but yeah, other than that, um I'm on furniture duty. Gotta go buy some furniture for the lady here because uh, she you know how you know how females are with the you know, decorating yeah, that's the why house. Decorating. That's, that's, why like that. that's why I ain't got none. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. But yeah, right, well, well, I'm going to head back down to the shop now. So okay. Uh, I might, I might, I might drop by later. I need one of my cars to be. Uh, oh, I need just, I need to see a new car. About. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, it's fine. Got these nice sliding glass doors. Yeah, see me.
But you gotta pull up sometime, Black. I'm under the Vinewood sign over there. Oh, that. Oh, that's you. <laughs> that's the car that you wanted. <laughs> hey, hey, Ghost. You wanna know something funny? So basically, yesterday, right? I saw that thing. T uh, Spade posted a car like that on Birdie, right? Yeah. And I was like, let me talk to my financial advisor about buying it, right? <laughs> And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and she said she said let's go window shop and anything is it still in stock or no you told me i got the last one gang god <laughs> fuck actually no i'm make, i'm gonna make him a call i'll try to erase something i'll try to erase something yeah i'll, I'll see what i can do one of my employees are on that are on duty See, you got your you got your thing floating and stuff you know that's, that's fine i don't know who that yeah. is I'm gonna have to get with you, Ghost, one day, so I can pull up with a trailer full of cars and uh, have your people work on them. Cause I figure I'm gonna go buy about four or five cars at once and just have all of them come down there. How much mm -hmm. you got right now? Well, right now I got uh, I got four in the garage, but I I want to get you know I gotta get my street cars up because I got all luxury right now, you know. So I gotta get my street cars up and bring them down there and let y'all touch them up. Nah, right, I got you. Well, the uh to get the, the truck i i recommend you get the dually it's the best one yeah that's you exactly know? what i'm gonna get even though even though i had no gas we were still kind of getting up that hill you feel me? <laughs> yeah we ain't gonna but talk about it <laughs> if, if y'all need uh if y'all need any sort of uh you know work trucks we also got some some trucks at the dealerships that don't run out of gas so. i'm actually uh we gotta i gotta i gotta talk to the government about allowing me to buy something from your from your dealership because as like business vehicles yeah um for for the shop so i was thinking of doing that as well okay i'll just keep so, me uh keep me posted in there we can definitely arrange something about that yeah i'll let you know all right but yeah i'm gonna go get this this big modifier right now see if i can <laughs> Get this thing, you know, speeding down the street. Hopefully, I don't get All myself right. in trouble. Well, Bad. we have a house to go furnish. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'm going to ride back down there with you, go. He really act like he and, be uh, he ain't, Hop he ain't in the car nothing. down there. Oh, she she has a house to furnish. No, no, no. Mm. Oh. I guess that's that's the reason I'll get a lady for. You know? Yeah. We'll see, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm All good. right, homie. I'll holler at y'all. Anyways, I'll I get that contract over to you. All right. All right, so we heading on. All right, you rolling with me, or you wanna want me to drop you off somewhere? Uh, I'm trying to think of what's close by over here. Uh, we can go to the nearest uh garage. We'll do it like that. All right, I gotta find one. Uh. Yeah, I don't live too far away from here anyway. So I pull my car out and uh, pull back up at the crib. I got you. I'm gonna see if I get this thing on these little roads. Yeah, man, I came through here the other day heading out to Trap New House, and uh, I was like, man, there's a reason I don't come around these streets. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> man. Yeah. What you thinking of doing to the uh, to the Lambo? Mm, I haven't really decided yet, to be honest with you. I might I might do yellow this time. Okay, okay. You know, keep it. Okay, keep it I can that see Lambo that. Color. Yeah, I was just do about little, to say that. That's straight Lambo color right there. No, like a like a little bumblebee thing. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I know it's gonna be lit when next time I see it. Yeah, I got like I got a bunch of cars right now. I got like a Porsche. I got uh that SVJ. I got this. Ooh. I gotta get it. I gotta escalate. Oh, oh, oh! I, oh I yeah, I about to say it's over there. Now you good? I right, homie, I appreciate. I holla at you. No problem, man. See you later. Appreciate the All right. earlier. No problem. No problem. Later. 
right, so we're gonna grab a little car real quick. Head back to the crib. Call it a day. All in the day's work. Gonna pull the uh we're gonna pull the loose it out. No, nah, hell no, nah. we're gonna pull the we're gonna pull the fast shit out. Try to hit some shit on the way on uh way back home. Oh, hold on. I just remember I gotta get the damn key out. But yeah, see if we can hit some shit or not on the way back to the crib. Up the hill. I believe I had registered this though. I can't remember. I definitely gotta get this fixed. Get rid of these ugly oh shit. Get rid of these ugly ass tires. Why is it every time my frames get the I need the frames to not be whoa shit lagging? Like it's I'm probably getting 20, whoa, 20 FPS right now, if not lower. This shit is I'ma just slow down. Fuck it. <laughs> They stop playing and I'ma hit some shit the way it, the way it's like skipping there now and then. Probably not doing that on on the on the recording because you know with the shadow it's in a totally different location. So it's basically like what I play on from my MacBook. This is basically the MacBook is like the monitor to that PC. So it's just sending me the signal the way it's you know skipping this shit right now. What I'm assuming. And maybe it's not doing that on the recording, but if it is, then at least we both lagging, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't make it no better, but shit. At least you'd understand what I'm seeing. All right. So we back at the crib. We got another video down. Another day in the life. Trap Wadene, aka the Hoods Lawyer, aka. Well, it really, it ain't no aka. I was about to say this motherfucker real name. I know you see it up there. Been wondering how the hell you say it. It's Nabar Treviante Sean Quavius. Last name K. <laughs> All right. So eventually we gonna get these. I've been saying this shit, but eventually we gonna get these cars did up, get them customized and all that. Then I gotta get some more of these motherfuckers and you know have them stashed away. But until then, boys, it's Troy the Kid Gaming. About to head on that. Appreciate all y'all. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done that already. I appreciate all y'all that's done that. Keep this shit growing. And I highlight y'all twin. We got this bitch. <laughs>